everyone. Welcome to my husband's office um, slash storage room. Like you can see we have the Christmas tree there and some other parts uh, light to the light downstairs and uh, mismatched socks, things like that are in here. Um, and then he has his desk over there and he has it the way he wants it so I don't touch it. But here is our deep freeze. As you can see, it's a good size deep freeze. And I'm just going to show you the organization on the inside of it. So, let's go ahead and take a look in. This here, it, I mean, it's a good size box. It's full of bread. There is uh, three, six, seven loaves of bread in there. So, I'm pretty good and stocked up on bread for the rest of this month. And then I have these little shoebox style containers right here, like this. And this one is labeled chicken. So I have all my chicken products in that one. And it, it won't show because my chicken is so heavy. I mean, so full in there. I just pulled the lid off this one too. Um, but this one it is hamburger meat. And then the next one down is also hamburger meat. And the one underneath of it is a bologna. Oh, the label's coming off on that. Then this tub here is all pork, which I need to stock back up on my pork because I'm starting to run low. Um, I like to keep this container completely full because that's the stuff that we eat the most is pork. Underneath of it is more pork. <laughs> we have uh, two different things of pork steak. And then, uh, that is ham, I think. Um, I haven't got them all completely labeled because I did just reorganize this. So, but I think that is um, ham for my husband's lunch. And then we have this little, like, box here. Beer box that I got from my grandma because she gets them to put her, um, like, green beans and things in when she's snapping them. But it holds all of our corn. We're on the cob. And then this is fresh corn that we cut off the cob last year. The box underneath of it houses all of our deer meat, such as uh, deer sausage and deer ground beef, or deer ground meat. And then we have um, popsicles, drinksicles. We have chicken pot pies for quick meals if I'm not home and my husband needs to fix a meal. We like to keep a big bag of ice. We do not have an ice maker, so if we have a party, we like to have ice on hand. And underneath of that is um, the red lid is chili, and the other one is vegetable soup. This is pecans that we have five pecan trays here, so we get lots of pecans. And then um, pizzas and French fries for my kids' lunch if they're here at the house. As I said, we love our pork, so we have more pork over here. These are pork burgers for when we go to the river. So we have two pork loins. There's another bucket of ham. <laughs> so uh, we have a lot. Um, that down there in the bottom, I believe, might be. Um, you know what? I'm not real sure what that is. Um, it's some of my husband's meat. He does a lot of barbecue, and so it might be like a barbecued mutton or something like that. But that is basically all of my organization for my deep freeze. I don't have a whole, whole lot in it right now. Um, I have enough that will probably last me half a month on meat, which I mean, like, I have a lot of hamburger meat at the moment because I traded for hamburger meat. I traded some other things to get hamburger meat. Um, so I have quite a bit of hamburger meat at the moment, so <clears throat> we may eat more hamburger this month than we do pork, so I'm going to have to be looking for some different recipes because we do get burned out on just hamburgers and meatloaf. So I may throw in a spaghetti every now and then and things like that so that we're not eating just straight pork all the time. But <laughs> so that's what my husband would prefer. Um, but that's kind of a look at how I organize my refrigerator underneath this box because it looks like it's like really high up it's just um you can see here uh the motor to the freezer is inside that little uh piece there 
So I thought that was a good way to get the bread up where we can access it because we eat a lot of bread. Um, I have three kids. Two of them are in school and need to take a lunch every day. And it's that time of year where my husband needs to take a lunch every day to work. So um, that we have to have a lot stocked up on. And like I say, that's seven loaves and that will probably last me the rest of this month. Maybe. But um, there you go, guys. I will link um, my refrigerator or organization videos below the upstairs and the downstairs refrigerators I will link in the more information bar below so just uh, click more info and then click on the link and it will take you straight to the video please subscribe I, I love to have new subscribers all the time and welcome to any new subscribers that I have and uh, you can also go to the flying housewife.blogspot.com and uh, there will be a blog post about this video. That is my blog that coordinates with this uh, YouTube channel. And I'm trying to get it updated with all of my YouTube videos and kind of pictures and things on what I've done. Um, I don't know if I'll get every video updated on there. But I do want to get at least every video from now on out updated on there. And there's some other stuff on there. I've been blogging for a little over six months now. Um, maybe even closer to... Um, nine to ten months now so I mean you can check out my blog if that's something that you're interested in I hope you enjoyed the video I will have a more videos to come I think I'm going to do one on um, how I reorganized my office again um, the way I organized it was not working for me it um, I needed some drawer space I have no drawers in my office so I added in a little container um, into my office so I will try to get that video up for you later this week if not later this week it will definitely be the first of next week so I hope you guys are having an awesome day I'm gonna go feed my kids some supper and get them tucked in for bed have a good night